Pero alam niya, alam niya yung ibig na maaate. The 11th Global Assessment Report on Disaster Risk Reduction, organized by Senator Lauren Lagarda and the UN International Strategy for Disaster Reduction. May I now call on the UNICEF Regional Champion for Disaster Reduction and Climate Change Adaptation for the Asian Pacific and Chairperson of the Senate Committee on Climate Change, Senator Lauren Lagarda, for the opening address. Thank you very much. The Senate President was supposed to make the opening remarks. Uh, he's still in the uh, session hall for the PCSO hearing and uh, presently asking very important questions. He will be joining us in a while. I hope you don't mind that I replace him uh, for the moment. <laughs> anyway, I will no longer acknowledge all the very important persons present here today, uh, members of the Diplomatic Corps, our um, colleagues from the House of Representatives, from the UNISDR, uh, from the NGO, from the Academe, um, from, from everywhere who cares about humanity. And this comes at the most opportune time because I understand we just experienced a 2 a.m. earthquake. And uh, we are in the midst of a storm, typhoon. Is that correct? Uh, we're supposed to be receiving hourly updates on typhoons according to Secretary Coloma uh, because of our new Pagasa sensors. Is that correct? That was mentioned in the sauna. So this forum could not come at a more opportune time. Yesterday, I hope you all listen to the sauna, State of the Nation from our President, and I laud President Aquino for speaking on good governance, on social protection, and social economic gains, among many successes. However, as UNISDR Regional Champion for Disaster Risk Reduction and Climate Change Adaptation for Asia and Pacific, and as Chair of the Senate Committee on Climate Change, I would have appreciated the sauna better, I'm smiling because I told Secretary Coloma about this, if the President asserted more clearly how the government will pursue disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation in perhaps a more comprehensive and effective way as a national strategy to achieve our development goals. To be fair, it was in the comprehensive report according to Secretary. We acknowledge the President, the presence of the Senate President, who will speak um, after this brief remarks. The reported eight-fold increase in our economic losses due to disasters since 1970 is alarming. How can we move on as a nation towards growth and progress if hard-earned social economic gains are often set back by the impact of recurring natural hazards? We saw in Japan that disaster risk can overwhelm even a developed and risk-oriented nations. In the Philippines, the threat of strong typhoons constantly bring back the fears of another Ondoy and Peping of 2009, which nearly killed a thousand people, affected about two million families, led to a staggering 4.4 billion US dollars in total damage and losses, or the equivalent of 2.7% of the country's GDP in 2009. As they say, when disaster strikes, the time to prepare has passed. We should work together, not let the time to prepare pass. But do we have the political will to make the right choice for our people? How can we invest more today for a safer tomorrow? We have long recognized disaster prevention makes good economic sense. The Philippine legislature, under the stewardship and leadership of Senate President Juan Ponce Enrile, has taken a proactive stance on this development issue by passing the Climate Change Act of 2009 and the Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Act of 2010. And if you were here in the opening of the Senate yesterday, the first five minutes of the Senate President's vision and accomplishment dealt on three important measures the CCA, the DRR, and the People's Survival Fund, which will finish by this year. The first two laws have paved the way to climate resilience, and having heard the President's priority programs and proposed national government budget for 2012, I urge the President, through the Cabinet members and uh, friends in government today, to ensure the mainstreaming of disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation in national development planning, that's why Secretary Paderanga is here, budgeting and financial management. The nation looks up to you to defend its interest and to translate anti-corruption, good governance into resilient and sustainable economic development. 
This message is captured in the 2011 Global Assessment Report on Disaster Risk Reduction, Revealing Risks, Redefining Development, a recent report of the United Nations International Strategy for Disaster Reduction. The success of reducing and managing disaster impacts rests with policy coherence in the national government, competent and accountable local governments, that's why they're also here, including the winner in Camotes Island, and an openness to work in partnership with civil society. We are grateful for the presence of Mr. Andrew Mastry, the coordinating lead author of GAR 2011, which provides insights on the prevailing drivers of vulnerability and how governments can effectively reduce disaster risks in this era of climate change. We are joined by the Director General of the National Economic Development Authority, Secretary Cayetano Padaranga, who will later share with us his perspectives on integrating disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation in planning. We also appreciate the presence of our legislators, headed of course by the Senate President, our colleagues in the House of Representatives, key government officials, members of international organizations, the members of the diplomatic corps, the heads of non-government organizations and various institutions, and members of the academe who are with us today. And to introduce the report, we will present to you later um, Dr. Jenny Velasquez, but because the Senate President is already here, we will hear from the author of the People's Survival Fund, uh, which he authored and which I am sponsoring, which he and I would commit will be finished before Christmas this year. Thank you. Thank you for the Senate President. 